Stop what you're doing, stop eating, and pray. Let's talk about it. Fasting. To abstain from all or some kinds of food or drink, especially as a religious observance. People often hear about fasting, and you might wonder what it is. So today, we're going to talk about just that. Let's jump right in. Honestly, fasting has been mentioned so many times in the Bible. Whether you've heard about the story of Jesus, whether you heard about Paul talking about it, Daniel talking about it, the Daniel fast, people do it at the beginning of the year. Fasting is in the Bible multiple times. And I feel like as Christians, it kind of gets in some areas swept under the rug where people kind of forget, oh yeah, we're supposed to fast, you know? And I feel like people sort of like forget what fasting is or yeah, I think some Christians don't even know what fasting is. And for me personally, fasting is laying down something in replacement for time with God. Yeah. Like you're laying down food, you're laying down social media or anything really you're connected to. So I remember when, close to my beginning walk with Christ, I had to lay down the gym. And in that process, laying down the gym was an idol for me. So I laid it down. And whenever I was supposed to be at the gym, I would read my word or I would pray to God, listen to worship music. And for me, that's what fasting is. It's just laying down an idol to spend time with God and grow deeper in that connection. Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, fasting is just simply taking something away and giving it to God. It's yeah. not necessarily saying, oh, I'm never getting on social media again. It's not saying, oh, man, for this 21 days, I'm just getting off social media and that's it. The purpose of fasting is not to get rid of something. The purpose of fasting is to replace that something with God. And so I think what, what a lot of people forget or what a lot of people don't do when they fast is pray. Social media fasting is really good because sometimes in the society we live in, it's, it's a good reset. We don't, we don't want to be connected to the world. But fasting for God is completely different. Fasting for God is when you completely give that time. So if you get on social media a lot, you're going to give a lot of time to God. Yeah, for real. Uh, and the, the most common thing to fast is food. That's what you hear about in the Bible, all throughout the Bible, is people fasting food and giving that time to God. When you think about Jesus in the wilderness, he was fasting for 40 days and praying to God. He wasn't just fasting to fast. He didn't just one day think to himself, yeah, you know what, I don't feel like eating for 40 days. No, he was consecrating himself to God and giving himself to God as a human. We're denying our human fleshly needs and giving it to God. And I think a lot of people, not only do they forget what fasting really is, but I think that they don't think they can do it. A lot of times when I've told someone, you know, yeah, I'm gonna be fasting, this and that, they're like, no food? You can't survive off that. Yeah. And I don't think people realize, like, that's the point. Yeah. As humans, we need food. We're giving what we need to God. We're literally switching out the time. How many times a day do you eat? Three times a day, most yeah. people. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're giving one of the biggest parts of your day, three times a day that you do something. You're giving that time to God. That's the purpose of fasting. Not even, like, even if you add it up, you're eating lunch for what, an hour? So that's three hours already. And then if you're already in your word daily, already worshiping daily, you can add another hour. You get four hours of just pure worship. And yeah. then you brought up the food subject. I feel like whenever I'm fasting and whenever I'm fasting and I pray and I read my word, it sort of it really does fill me up. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm not hungry anymore. I feel like I've been like secured almost. Like I'm good to last these next couple of days. Yeah. Just off of reading my word, just off of worship and praying. And I feel like for me, I I really do see my growth spiritually. Like, I really do see where I'm growing during a fast. I see where I'm getting better at during a fast. Yeah, 100%. And when I'm fasting, I feel better. And yeah. even though, I mean, I'm, I'm hungry, obviously. Even though I'm longing for food, I feel spiritually completely filled up. Like... I go throughout my day with more patience. I go throughout my day, I feel more loving. I just feel better when I'm fasting. I feel closer to God, like, like I hear the voice of God. And you know, a common thing in the Bible 
the people the reason people fast is because they wanted to hear an answer from God. They wanted to give, you know, they were they were wondering about something. They had a question. They had something that they were waiting on. And instead of just sitting there and asking God, they were like, you know what? I'm going to set something aside. God, I'm giving you this time because I want to hear from you so badly. God, I'm fasting food for you. I'm going to use that time to speak to you because I want every opportunity to hear your voice. And I think a lot of times for Christians, whenever we have a big thing coming up or a big question about something or or something that we just truly need God for, fasting is a great way to get get an answer from God. And I've I've experienced that myself where, you know, I didn't know if I was supposed to do something. Before I proposed to my, my future wife, I'm getting married in four days, before I proposed to her, I prayed and fast. I prayed, I fasted, and I was asking God, God, is this the time? Is this the right person for me? Is this what you want? And the answer I received was yes. And, you know, I got a ring on my finger. Yeah. But people don't understand that God is not just a genie in the bottle. God is not just a, oh, man, I'm sick. Help me. But then don't talk to him for the rest of the week. Oh, man, I stubbed my toe and it might be broken. I can't play my next game this season. God, please help me. No. God is our God. God is our, our creator, our maker, our lover, our designer. And we have to give our time to him. It's not just a, um, a wants and needs type of relationship. Having a relationship with God is exactly that, a relationship. And how can you have a relationship with someone if you don't talk to them? Yeah. And I feel like fasting is a good way to talk to God. It's giving yourself the opportunity, the setting aside to talk to God. Yeah, and I feel like on that subject of we we don't fast or we only fast when we need something from God, I feel like a lot of people don't understand the concept of you shouldn't just talk to God whenever you need something. You should talk to God daily. You should talk to God just to talk to him. Yeah. Like, you should talk to God whenever, for real. But you should never not be talking exactly. to God. Exactly. And so I think it's important for people to understand the concept of you don't have to fast just whenever you need something. Yeah. You can fast just because you want to grow closer to God. If you don't think you can do food right now, that's fine. You'll yeah. grow. Fasting is literally just laying something down. Literally just saying, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do... I'm going to read my word instead of doing this. I'm going to pray instead of doing this is literally just simply laying something down yeah yeah and i feel like it's something we need to model something that we need to be doing often not just at the beginning of the year not just when we need something often enough that people know what it is and that people are familiar uh you know i remember as a kid my dad would fast and and my mom would fast like at the beginning of the year or at different times they would be fasting and and i would be like what in the world yeah you're telling me this guy hasn't eaten for seven days? <laughs> like, yeah. in, my, in my mind, it's like, how is that possible? Yeah. And now here I am, and it's like, man, I understand how, how good it feels to fast. Though I'm hungry, though my stomach is in knots and twisting and turning, and I don't know what I'm feeling, yeah. I know that 90% of my day, I feel closer to God. When I read my word, I feel closer to God. When I'm listening to worship music on the way to work, I feel closer to God because I've decided to consecrate myself to Him. And it just, it feels better. Um, and I've told you, and I've told my, my fiance, I feel like a better person when I'm fasting. I feel like a better version of myself when I'm fasting. And I don't think that's a coincidence. And I think at the same time, whenever you look at the Bible, in a way they were always fasting, the disciples, Lately, I've been reading through Acts, and I've realized that Acts are, the book of Acts talks about the apostles and what they did. It was almost as if every city that they were about to enter, they always fasted before yeah. they entered it. Yeah. And I was like, hmm, this is interesting. And then it also, it's not coincidence, every city that they entered, a miracle happened mm -hmm. in that city after they fasted. Yeah. It's almost as if you're, like God's giving you this um, supernatural, if you will, ability to talk to people, to understand people, love people. He's using you. Exactly. He's using you as a vessel, yeah. using you as somebody that can go out and spread his word, spread his gospel, which I think is really powerful for us to understand the 
it's it's almost like a superpower. Oh, definitely. It's, it's yeah. almost like when you fast, you, it's like putting on Iron Man's suit, almost, if you will. Like, you sort of gain this this superpower from God. It, it's yeah. crazy. It's and just wild. The crazy thing about it is all you're doing is getting closer to God. Exactly. That's, a, that's what I think people often miss is that fasting is to get closer to God. Yeah. Fasting is not to lose weight. Fasting is not to follow the crowd because your church is doing a 21-day fast. Fasting is to get closer to our Savior, Jesus yeah. Christ. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God will use you when you're fasting. Yeah. When I'm fasting, that's when God speaks through me most. When I'm fasting, that's whenever I often get people that come up to me and I'm able to speak into their life. When I'm fasting, that's when breakthrough happens. And I don't think people realize that because they get so caught up in this you know, follow the crowd type of mentality where everyone's doing it, so they're just gonna do it. And they're so caught up in how hard it is that they're not thinking about how much it helps us. Because I'm a victim of that. I, I do that. I've done that in the past. I've, I still do it. It's hard not to do it as a human. Whenever you're fasting, you're like, man, I just can't wait to eat. I can't wait to just sit down and have a meal. But I think people get so caught up in how hard it is they forget how good it is to fast. And I think that's also a very dangerous state to be in yeah. whenever you're fasting because other people are doing it and you don't truly understand why you're fasting. Because then if you're just fasting because other people are doing it, what's filling you up? Mm. Well, because if you're not praying to God, you're not reading your word, you're going 21 days with literally no food. Even Jesus talks about it in Matthew. and In Matthew 4.4, 4, he says, it is written, man shall not live off of bread alone, but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Mm. And it's almost as if, if you're fasting when other people are fasting and you're fasting just to fast, it's not really, you're just fasting. You're going 21 days with no food. And God says, I'm living like I am what's going to fill you up. Yeah. And you're going 21 days with no food. What's going to fill you up in those 21 days? Yeah. What's going to help you not even 21 days say you're going seven days what is going to fill you up say you're going every day exactly what's going to fill you up in those days if you're not praying to god and you're not asking god for help yeah 100 percent. and I, I feel like as christians obviously we follow the word of god if you don't know what fasting is if you don't really believe in fasting or know why we do it it's all throughout the word of god it says here in, in matthew 6 16 Moreover, when you fast, this is Jesus talking, when you fast, not if, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad counterfeit, for they disfigure their faces and they may appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your father who is in the secret place and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Jesus talks about fasting. Jesus himself fasted. When, not if. We're expected as Christians to fast. Not just to get an answer, not just to hear from God, but to just get closer to God, to consecrate ourselves to God. And beyond that, when we fast, Jesus tells us we're not supposed to be caught up in the struggle. We're not supposed to be thinking and showing how hard it is, because it is hard. We're supposed to do the exact opposite. We're showing everyone, we're showing ourselves. This is not for our human desires, this is for God. And because of that, we're not even gonna show how hard this is. People should not know that we're fasting because God knows and that's why we're doing it. 100%, and I think fasting as a church is great. I think fasting as a group, if you have a group of friends and y'all wanna do a Daniel fast or wanna do a full fast, and you know, get together, pray every night, do that. I think that's amazing. I think it's good to have community. God wants us to have community with each other. But I think outside of that, you should also do it on your own. You yeah. should be able to set that time aside and be able to just talk to God and fast on your own and not show it and be able to walk throughout your day. And it should look like you're having a great day, honestly, from the outside because the Lord is filling you up. The Lord is giving you love. The Lord is giving you hope. And so really, it should look like you're having to other people, it should look be like, wow. Who is this guy? Yeah, he's different in a good yeah. way. Not, man, 
Uh, yeah, he's been tired, tired. Yeah. he's been drowsy. Like, it know. shouldn't be like that. You should yeah. be full with energy. You should yeah. be uplifting, encouraging, loving the people. Yeah. Just as Jesus would have done to us. Yeah. Fasting is important. God speaks through fasting. You get closer to God with fasting. If, if you want to grow a relationship with God, if you want to feel His presence, fast. Take something out of your life and fill it with God. It, I mean, like you said, He will fill us. We don't live yeah. by bread alone, but by the Word of God. How powerful is that? Yeah. We don't have to live off human things. We can live by the Word of God. That's how powerful His Word is. And to me, that just speaks so many volumes to how good our God is. And if you've ever wondered about fasting, how to do it, why we do it as Christians, I want to encourage you. Comment down below any questions you might have. We're going to do our best to answer you, not with our words, but with the Word of God. And if you have any questions about anything that has to do with Christianity or the Bible, read the Bible for yourself. Uh, start in John. It's a big book, 66 books. It's hard read. But start in John. It talks about the life of Jesus. It's going to give you a good understanding of what it's like to be a Christian, how we're supposed to love people. Until next time, shalom and God bless.